When the world's most influential space entrepreneur makes a statement like this, it's not just a warning, it's a wake-up call. China's space program isn't just catching up, it's redefining the race. With ambitions that stretch from the moon to Mars, Beijing is positioning itself as not just a participant in the space race, but to beat every other nation. But how did China's space program evolve so rapidly? And more importantly, what does this mean for the rest of the world? This isn't just about exploration, it's about power. It's about control of the final frontier. And as we'll reveal, the stakes couldn't be higher. When we think about space exploration, the first things that come to mind are probably NASA and SpaceX, absolute juggernauts in aerospace exploration. However, there is another player that is quickly rising on the scene, China. They're not just dipping their toes into space exploration, but they're going all in with a clear strategic vision that could reshape the future of humans in space. Their ambitions revolve around three main objectives. And these objectives aren't just pie-in-the-sky dreams, but carefully planned, which China has already set in motion. Let's have a look. The first objective is heavy launch capabilities. China is focusing on increasing their Long March series rockets, improving their ability to carry larger payloads farther into space. The cornerstone of this effort is the Long March 5 rocket, which is equipped with powerful YF-100 engines in its core stage and boosters. Compared with a typical car that can produce up to 300 horsepower, the YF-100 rocket engine generates 270,000 pounds force of thrust, approximately 36 million horsepower. Yes, you heard that right, 36 million horsepower. However, the engineers are already working on the Long March 9, a next-generation heavy-lift rocket with more powerful engines. Different prototypes are identified. But the main one is the CZ-9, with four liquid fuel boosters and a capacity of 140 tons. Imagine the savings you would have if you reduced the number of launches from three to two for the same payloads. And it doesn't stop there. The LM-9 might include reusable rocket stages, which will make China's space program much more sustainable and cost-effective. This has already been achieved by SpaceX, so most likely it will be the same concept. But it's not just about launching rockets. The real game changer lies in their next space transformation system, which aims to transforming the emptiness of space into a bustling hub of activity. It includes the necessary infrastructure like refueling stations, cargo transport, and even factories that enables humans and robots to operate in space. The engineers are focusing on technologies that will make ships fly autonomously and perform self-docking, the ability to repair satellites in orbit, and deep space communication networks. And then there's the crown jewel of the program, the Tiangong Space Station. The China Manned Space Agency sent the station's modules into orbit and by late 2022, Tiangong became fully operational. This space station is just the beginning, and similar to the International Space Station, Tiangong will also be used for scientific research. But make no mistake, Tiangong isn't just a research facility. It's the springboard for China's future space conquests, setting the stage for a new era of exploration. And what could these adventures be? For the moment, lunar and Mars exploration is under the scope. But who knows how soon it will include other planets or even other solar systems. Ultimately, all of this has the main focus of constructing space stations or even habitats on the Moon or Mars, which will become the backbone support for long-term human missions beyond Earth. But what does all of this mean? Look, China isn't just playing catch-up. They're planning to overtake the current leaders, aiming for a future where they dictate the terms of space exploration. However, they aren't the only ones. SpaceX performance has been incredible so far, and as of now, there is no way China is going to catch up to them, right? 
perhaps this race is a little closer than it seems. At first glance, this might seem like a new Cold War-style space race, but the reality is far more complex and potentially more dangerous. So far, SpaceX has really shown its strength when it comes to launching rockets, and in 2023 alone, they managed to launch 98 rockets, delivering a staggering 1,195 tons of payload into orbit. It's no wonder they're the global leader, making headlines as the company that's taking over space. Meanwhile, China has had a solid year too, but with 67 launches. They're still trailing behind SpaceX in this area, though the plan is to raise that number to over 100 in the year 2024, forcing Elon Musk to step up his game in order to keep up. One of the main reasons behind these impressive numbers for SpaceX is their ability to launch rockets far more efficiently than its competitors. With launch prices as low as $3,000 per kilogram, SpaceX dominates the industry, undercutting other providers by a hefty margin, anywhere from $7,000 to $17,000 per kilogram. To put this into perspective, NASA's old space shuttle program costs around $54,000 per kilogram of payload, and even their more recent space launch system comes in at about $20,000 per kilogram. Other commercial companies like Ariane Space and Russia's Roscosmos charge between $10,000 and $20,000 per kilogram. With such competitive pricing, it's no surprise that SpaceX has become the go-to provider for commercial satellite operators, research institutions, and even other governments. But what exactly allows SpaceX to offer such low prices? It all comes down to their reusable technology, especially with Starship, which is designed to be fully reusable. This means they can use the same rocket multiple times, drastically cutting down cost per launch. On the flip side, China is also working on reusable technology, but they're not stopping there. They're investing heavily in more than just rockets. They're pushing forward with systemic space missions, including lunar and Mars exploration, deep space communication, and maintaining their permanent space station, Tiangong. While SpaceX focuses on efficiency, China is broadening its reach across the entire spectrum of space exploration. Furthermore, China's space program, run by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, benefits from being state-operated. Imagine bypassing all the bureaucratic hurdles that private companies often face and instead being able to focus entirely on what really matters. This setup gives China's space program direct access to national resources like launch sites, government funding, and political support, making their operations run much more smoothly. A great example of this is how they can easily utilize national infrastructure for transporting rockets and other components, tap into military resources and technology, and coordinate with other state-run institutions without the usual red tape. Unlike SpaceX, which can be influenced at any time by market dynamics and investor expectations, like any other private company that runs on profit, the Chinese space program operates under the Chinese government, focusing on its goals without the pressure of money. This enables them to carry on with their lunar base projects, Mars exploration, and further development of their space station, even though they might not be profitable at all in the short run. Furthermore, the Chinese government's control over its space program allows for better alignment with national interests. They can prioritize space exploration in a way that integrates seamlessly with economic, military, and technological goals. However, this kind of control can sometimes create challenges, especially for scientists. History has shown that while scientists may focus on advancing knowledge for the sake of discovery, the government may be more concerned with how that knowledge can be used for security purposes. And that's when all of this becomes part of the geopolitical tensions around the globe. And speaking of that, SpaceX works very closely with the U.S. military, and it has become a critical partner. 
The Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets have been used to launch many military satellites, GPS satellites, and probably many more secret assets. What really made the U.S. further interested in SpaceX is Starlink. This technology enhances drone strike operations and reconnaissance, cyber operations, and secure communication. This has been a big concern for China, as they see these partnerships as potential threats to their national security and interests. They are mainly concerned about the widespread deployment of Starlink satellites and their potential to interfere with China's own satellite networks. And what makes the situation even worse is that the high number of satellites risk physical collisions. For example, in 2021, China reported that its Tiangong space station had to perform evasive maneuvers to avoid potential collisions with Starlink satellites on two separate occasions. And when some critical and very expensive assets are threatened, you definitely want to take precautionary measures. So, could China weaponize its space program and become the ultimate military advantage? As mentioned earlier, China's space program is controlled by the government, and it's deeply connected with the People's Liberation Army. Whenever new possibilities arise, the PLA will begin weaponizing it for further military dominance. Similarly to that of the U.S. military with the SpaceX satellites, the Chinese satellites are designed for intelligence gathering, secure communication, and even potential military operations. The satellites are already providing real-time data like an eye beyond the sky. But it doesn't end there. The possibility of China using its space technology for military purposes are not just high, they're almost a certainty. Even though China is officially bound by the Outer Space Treaty of 1967, which bans weapons in space, and they've said they support it. But let's be honest, without full transparency, it's hard to know what they're really putting up there. Take their space station, for example. Unlike the International Space Station, which is shared by multiple countries, China's station is more like its own private ship. There's talk that it could even have anti-satellite weapons, capable of taking out other countries' satellites. If that happens, it could cause huge problems for nations that rely on satellites for things like communication and navigation. Just imagine if China disabled GPS satellites. It would make it tough for their adversaries to operate drones, guide missiles, or even navigate aircraft. Not to mention road trip days. I'd be lost without my GPS. What, am I expected to use a paper map? By mixing military capabilities into their space plans, China's space program could become a powerful way to project influence, not just on Earth but far beyond. But in today's world, it's not just about military might. Economic power is just as important. A country's ability to produce and sell valuable goods plays a huge role in its global standing. As China pushes further into space, the economic benefits could be just as game-changing as their military advancements. So, what kind of economic opportunities could space offer China? And how might this change global markets? It's important to remember that China's huge investment in space isn't just for show. They're aiming for some serious economic gains. One of the most game-changing opportunities is extraterrestrial mining. Just imagine if China could mine precious metals like platinum or rare earth elements from the moon, while other countries are struggling with dwindling resources here on Earth. That would give China a massive economic advantage, potentially controlling the supply of these critical materials. Another bold idea is space-based solar power stations. Think about the endless clean energy that can be collected from the sun in space and then beamed back to Earth. This wouldn't just revolutionize the energy market with nearly limitless power. It could also help protect our planet by reducing the need for fossil fuels. The bigger picture here is huge. By leading the way in space-based resources and energy, China could give its economy an incredible boost, gaining a major edge in global markets. This could shift global power dynamics, putting China in a dominant position, not just here on Earth, but in the broader realm of space as well. 
But how did China go from launching its first satellite to becoming a space superpower in just a few decades? This story is really interesting, and it all started with a mix of global influences. While the world was focused on the U.S. and the Soviet Union's space race, China's space program quietly got a big boost from the Soviets. In the early days, China heavily relied on Soviet rocket designs and missile technology, which laid the groundwork for their space ambitions. Things really took off when Qian Shuishen joined the program. With his education at MIT and Caltech, Qian brought invaluable knowledge in aeronautics and rocket science that shaped China's future in space. He was instrumental in developing China's first ballistic missile and played a key role in launching their first satellite, Dongfang Hong-1, in 1970. One of China's strengths has been its ability to adapt and improve on existing technology. They took the Russian Soyuz design, enhanced it to meet their own needs, and developed the Shenzhou spacecraft. Soon, they began achieving major milestones. In 2013, they successfully landed the Chang'e 3 rover on the moon, marking their first soft landing on another celestial body. Then in 2019, they became the first country to land a rover on the far side of the moon. They followed this up by becoming the third country to bring lunar samples back to Earth. Their groundbreaking achievement came in 2024 when Chang'e 6 returned with samples from the moon's far side. Looking ahead, by 2030, China plans to send astronauts to the moon to work on the International Lunar Research Station with Russian counterparts. Over the next 10 to 15 years, they're also aiming to bring back samples from Mars and explore deeper into space. China's rapid progress in space exploration isn't just impressive. It's a clear signal to the world that they're here to stay. And they're not slowing down, thanks to the foundations laid by other nations. Bye for now.